Now that we have defined the two phases involved in chromatography, let's return to that separation. We can clearly see the coloured bands moving through the column and then finally dripping out of the bottom of the column. But how can we represent the separation in a graphical way? If we plot the amount of each pigment against the time it takes for the pigment to drip out of the end of the column, we produce a two-dimensional plot known as a chromatogram. When only the mobile phase is dripping out of the column, the signal will be a flat line, and we call this the baseline. However, when a coloured pigment drips out of the column, the line moves up and down, forming what we call a peak. Each pigment is represented by a peak in the chromatogram. The three components have different chemistries, and this leads to different amounts of interaction with the stationary phase. The red pigment drips out of the column first, and this can also be checked by looking at the time axis on the chromatogram. The red pigment has interacted less with the stationary phase, and we say that the component is less retained by the stationary phase. The green pigment, on the other hand, is the last pigment in the chromatogram, and is the most retained by the stationary phase. If we wanted to, we could change the type of stationary phase, and this will change the separation. The separation is based on the chemistry of the component and how well the component sticks to the stationary phase. You will notice from the chromatogram that the coloured pigments are nicely separated from each other. However, if you look closely, you will also notice that there is not even spacing between the peaks. The blue and green components are closer together compared with the red and the blue component. We should talk about this in the next section. You can also see in the chromatogram that there are different size peaks. The height and the area of the peak are proportional to the amount of pigment in the original mixture. So the chromatogram is the graphical representation of the separation and tells us how well separated the components are and also how much of each component is in the original mixture.